morning students i am vaishakhi shah from lj institute of engineering and technology in last lecture we started our module which is called fluid kinematics and fluid dynamics now in today's lecture we will continue our module with continuity equation if you remember then in last lecture we studied basics of what is fluid kinematics what is fluid dynamics and different types of fluid flow okay there are mainly six types of fluid flow which we discussed in our last lecture now today we will uh, discuss continuity equation uh, in detail and uh, uh, continuity equation is also a important theory for exam point of view and also for solving some example so let's start uh, today's lecture with continuity equation so first of all the continuity equation continuity equation follows principle of conservation of masses remember that continuity equation follow principle of conservation of masses which indicate that mass neither be created nor be destroyed total mass of the system remains constant mass neither be created nor be destroyed total mass in the system must be remain constant this is the basic principle of law of conservation of masses which we follow for continuity equation okay now uh, when uh, as you can see in this diagram in the above diagram that mass of the fluid entering into the stream tube per unit time as you can see there is a tube here which is called stream tube there are two sections section 1 which is your inlet of the tube and section 2 is your outlet of the tube now mass of the fluid which enters from section 1 section 1 that mass of the fluid we indicate as density into discharge so total mass of the fluid enters which is density into discharge now we know that discharge which is area into velocity you can replace discharge by area into velocity so density equals to area into velocity now density the, we indicate density as rho we indicate area as a and we indicate velocity as v so here mass of fluid entering into the stream line is rho a v clear now at section 1 and 2 we can apply continuity equation so the mass of fluid entering from stream tube at section 1 is rho 1 a 1 and v 1 where rho 1 is density of fluid a 1 area at section 1 and v1 is a velocity of fluid at section 1 equals to rho2 into a2 into v2 here we applied continuity equation by law of conservation of masses and according to that mass neither be created nor be destroyed so mass of fluid at section 1 must be equal to mass of fluid at section 2 so mass of fluid at section 2 is rho2 a2 into v2 where rho2 is a density of fluid a2 area of pipe at section 2 and v2 that is velocity of the fluid now if the fluid is the same throughout the stream lines then rho1 equals to rho2 because fluid is same so density of the fluid is also same so rho1 equals to rho2 at that time you can write down as a1 v1 equals to a2 v2 this is your final form of continuity equation where you can write down area into velocity at section 1 equals to area into velocity at section 2 so your final form of continuity equation is a1 v1 equals to a2 into v2 clear now our next theory which is continuity equation in three dimensional flow as you can see in this diagram we are considering a rectangular block placed in three dimension 3d block we are considering here a 3d block okay now uh 
as you can see in this diagram that x axis which is horizontal y axis which is inclined and z axis which is your vertical axis e clear we are considered three axes here x y and z as we know that velocity component in x direction is u velocity component in y direction is v and velocity component in z direction is w so here velocities u v and w are indicated in this diagram which are the velocities in x y and z directions okay now as you can see in this diagram that length of uh, a b c d there are two sides a b c d and e f g h from side a b c d the fluid enters from side a b c d the fluid enters and from side e f g h the fluid exits so entry side of the block is a b c d and exit side of the block is e f g h okay now uh, when length here length of side b f as you can see in the diagram length of side b f that is d x okay length of side f g g f that is d y so length of this element in y direction is d y length of this cube in x direction is d x and length of this cube in z direction is dz so dz dx and dy all three are the length of this uh, rectangular element which is in 3d okay clear so now moving further here we are considering a fluid element of length dx dy and dz in direction x y and z now let inlet velocity components are so as we discussed that fluid particle enters from which side yes a b and c d so inlet velocity when the fluid particle enters so inlet velocity in all three directions are u v and w for x y and z direction okay now from surface a b c d now from a b c d the mass of the fluid enters from a b c d the fluid enters from surface a b c d so if we have to find out mass of the fluid then mass of the fluid entering a b c d per unit time remember that we are finding here mass of the fluid which entering from surface a b c d so the equation of mass of the fluid is density into velocity in that direction into area of a b c d clear we have to find out mass of the fluid so to find out mass the equation is density into velocity in x direction into area of a b c d now density of the fluid that is rho velocity in x direction is u and as you can see in this diagram if you have to find out area of a b c d then area of a b c d is dy into dz dy into dz dy your inclined length and dz is your vertical length so dy into dz that is area of surface a b c and d okay so here we found mass entering from surface a b c d now we will find out mass exits from surface e f g h so let's see now mass leaving the face e f g h which is rho into u into dy into dz this is mass enters plus there is some change in mass which we indicate as del into rho u dy by dz divided by delta x into dx you can 
also simplify this uh, term by saying that mass entering from surface EFGH, uh, sorry, mass entering from surface ABCD is M. Okay, we indicate as M. Now, mass exits from surface EFGH is M plus del M by del X into DX. Here, del M by del X into DX is a change in mass. Clear? Mass enters from ABCD is M and mass exits from EFGH is M plus del M by del X into DX. So, same in this equation, we, we place the equation for M which is rho into U du dy into dz plus del M by del X into DX. So, M that is del into rho U dy into dz divided by del x into dx. This equation is for mass of the fluid which is exits from surface EF GH leaving the surface EF GH. Okay? Now, we have to find out total change in mass in x direction, total gain in mass in x direction. So, you can simply find out total gain by outflow minus inflow mass of fluid exits from surface EFGH minus mass of fluid entering from ABCD. You can find out exit minus entry. So, you can get total change in mass or total gain in mass. So, here we place the equation that total change in mass which is in x direction equals to rho into u dy into dz minus rho into u dy dz plus del into rho u dy dz divided by delta x into dx. This is outflow minus inflow. So, by uh, simplify this equation, you get that minus rho into u divided by del x into dx dy into dz. This is total change of mass in x direction. Remember that change of mass in x direction. Now, we will find out total change in mass in y direction and also in z direction. So, here you can see that net change of mass in x direction. We have the equation for that which is minus rho into u divided by del x into dx dy dz. Okay. So, now similarly you can write down total change for y and z direction also. So, similarly total change net gain in y direction is minus del rho v upon del y into dx dy into dz. You, uh, you do not have to uh, 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 derivate this whole for x and y direction, you simply can uh, write down it by similarly. Okay? Now, total net gain of mass in z direction is minus del rho w upon del z into dx dy and dz. Clear? Now, if we have to find out total change of mass in all three direction, then we have the change of mass in x, y and z directions. So, total change of mass you can find out by taking summation of change of mass for all three direction. So, you have the change of mass for particular x, y and z direction. Now, you can uh, find out total change by taking summation for individual change of mass. So, here total change of mass per unit time is minus del rho u upon del x plus del rho v upon del y plus del rho w upon del z into dx dy dz. Clear? So, by simplifying that you can uh, get minus here minus is your constant. So, uh, rho u sorry del rho u divided by del x plus del rho v divided by del y plus del rho w divided by del z into 
dx, dy and dz. Here if uh, we are taking dx, dy and dz on cross side then you get del rho u upon del x plus del rho v into del uh, y plus del rho w into del z equals to 0. So now for compressible flow rho is your constant, rho is constant. So your final continuity equation for 3D flow is del u by del x plus del v by del y plus del w by del z equals to 0. This is your continuity equation for 3 dimensional flow. Remember that you can solve so many examples by using continuity equation that del u by del x plus del v by del y plus del w by del z equals to 0. And if two dimensional flow is given then same equation you can write down as del u by del z plus del v by del y equals to 0. So now we will con uh, uh, we are concluding our lecture here. Now in next session we will solve some examples based on continuity equation. Thank you.